pride ourselves in taking action for our viewers when and how we can. You may have seen a video on Facebook or YouTube about a local mom dying of breast cancer, pleading for a drug not yet approved by the FDA. Darlene Gant contacted me, and together with a group of her very determined friends, we got this mom the miracle chance she was praying for. Here I am, at 46 years old, terminally ill with breast cancer, where my liver is engulfed in tumors. So begins the story of Darlene Gant, wife of former Buck player Brian Gant. So here I am, with a drain coming out of my liver, and barely able to eat. I've wasted down to 140 pounds. Lost 30 pounds. Mother to an 11 year old son who she fears will only remember her through video and cards. Pretty sad that cancer has taken my life to this point. And I have to plan what I'm going to do for my son so he remembers me. In a last ditch effort to fight for her life, Darlene asked her doctor at Moffitt Cancer Center if she, the doctor, would write a letter to Genentech, a company with an investigational drug that showed promise in treating Darlene's HER2 positive breast cancer. That was in September, she says. She had another doctor write a letter, and even friends. But Darlene says it didn't look like Genentech would release the drug for what's called compassionate use. So she made a video and posted it on YouTube, pleading for the FDA and the company to have mercy. Pertuzumab will not be released by the FDA until June. In the meantime, no one is eligible for compassionate use, including me. As her social media plea kicked off, she also called me, and I contacted the FDA, Moffitt Cancer Center, and Genentech. And tonight, around 9 p.m., I got an email from Genentech saying, Hi, Linda. I wanted to let you know that Genentech has agreed to provide pertuzumab to Darlene Gant on a compassionate use basis. Krista Pellegrino, Genentech, Inc. Hey, Darlene, it's Linda. Hey, Linda. Hey, congratulations. Hey, <laughs> Genentech says they are working with her doctors to make sure she can start the drug as soon as possible. Darlene wants to share her story about how you can't give up fighting for life and how anyone with a terminal illness can appeal for an investigational drug for compassionate use. I'll be honest, it's not easy, and it doesn't always work. But in the coming days, we'll share with you what both Darlene and I have learned about this process. If you have any questions or you would like to comment on Darlene's story or you just like to view it in its entirety, it's about 20 minutes long, I posted a link to her YouTube video on my Facebook fan, book, fan page. And all you have to do is look for Linda Hurtado WFTS and search under Pages.